Master your destiny on 99 FM. Welcome to the MID studios, Michael. We're delighted to have you in studio. Well, I'm glad that you're delighted because I'm excited to be here. <laughs> That's wonderful. Like I'd always listen to the show. I'm like, ah, when are they gonna call me? When are they gonna call me? And here you are now. <laughs> well, we're really glad that you made time to come and join us Most and certain. share with us on the path to peace, which is our series at the moment, the path to peace. What is your take on peace? Well, peace is harmony. You know, I always have a belief that, you know, without peace, you know, we could achieve a lot of things, but we cannot achieve great things. Yeah. Because right. greatness first begins with peace. Once you have peace, then you have laid a foundation to establish whatever it is that you wish to establish. Yeah. And many of the, the greats of Africa are people that had really difficult circumstances mm -hmm. but had that inner sense of knowing of peace. Exactly. I mean, uh, we look at the, the late Nelson Madiba. I mean, if you had to put me in prison for a week and I come out, trust me, I'll be very bitter with you. In fact, I'd want to incarcerate you as well. Yeah. But there he came out and he was like, you know what? Let's open a new page and let's start a new chapter. Yeah. So that takes a whole lot of inner peace. You first have to forgive yourself in order to forgive others. Tell us a little bit about your journey. Well, my journey started not so long ago, in 1991, when I was born. Uh, so I moved to Ventuk uh, when I was about two or one, I'm not quite sure. Uh, my dad, uh, I lived with my dad here in Ventuk. I went to a school, a uh, primary school called Moses van der Beel. It's in Soweto. I'm sure m many people will be familiar with it. After that, I went to high school, Concordia College. And uh, unfortunately, I only made it till grade 12, which I failed. Uh, the year after, I upgraded some of my subjects. And well, life took its journey and here I am today sharing my story with everyone else. But you're now a successful businessman, a man who's won many business awards, even been inducted into the Namibian Business Hall of Fame. That's quite a feat. Tell us about your most recent business. Well, my recent business, uh, uh, going back again to history, uh, in 2009, that's when I started my small cleaning company. And then uh, later on, my what I called MMS Michael Mini Shop. Uh, the year following year, which was 2010, I had actually applied for an apprenticeship at the Namibian breweries okay. where I was accepted uh, to work as an apprentice brewer. So the work took up much of my time because uh, we had to work 12 hour dedicated shifts mm -hmm. to ensure that uh, Namibians have their most beloved brew each and every single day. So uh, business somehow I neglected it a bit uh, because obviously I needed to be there full time. So it eventually gradually died and I focused uh, on my new career as an apprentice brewer. I worked at the breweries for about uh, two years. And in 2012, uh, I started later being uh, a conscious uh, to say that, uh, you know what, there are a lot of things happening in society. I can't just now be focusing on what's currently happening uh, in my life. What is it that I can do to impact society as well? And at the time, there were reports coming out saying that, you know, Unemployment is at the staggering rate of 51%. You know, there are no jobs in the country. And I was like, okay, newspapers are reporting about this. Uh, everyone is talking about it, but nothing is really being done to say that, you know, employment needs to be created. So I started thinking to myself, I started doing a bit of reading, researching to say that, what is it as you, Michael, what can you do as an individual? And then I realized that, as Michael, I might not be able to do something. But I started telling myself that if I start somehow being a positive role model, I can actually inspire other fellow young people to also start creating not jobs only for themselves, but for their peers as well. And by so doing, by igniting a whole entire country into saying that, you know what, we can actually create jobs for ourselves. We can actually empower ourselves. Mm -hmm. We can actually become our own masters. I could actually do something for someone without necessarily being a billionaire or something of that sort. So in 2012, that's when I said, okay, let me now register a former company. And that's when I registered Amushe uh, Hello Investment at that time it was called. And we started off the initial idea was to actually, because uh, not being a graduate, but having the idea of what it is that I wanted to do. So we started holding meetings, uh, 
you know, laying out the vision, doing business plan for each and every company, you know, marketing it vigorously on social media, because at the time we didn't have the budgets to obviously have radio ads or newspaper ads. So we needed to use the resources that we had at our disposal. And if you had a smartphone and you had some few datas or you had internet connection, there you had a social media platform with billions of consumers literally waiting for you. So we said, let's tap into that. Let's use the little that we have and try and grow it. So that's what we did. We had vigorous marketing on social media. You know, we instantly became a household name. Everyone was instantly saying, ah, there's this company, Amushi, Amushi. But here's the downside of all this social media buzz. Cash flow was unfortunately not coming into the business. You know, the name is out there, the buzz is out there, but just establishing relationships for people to trust you because you, you're a newly established uh, startup. Yeah. So for someone to actually come and s give them your hard end money, you know, you need to have some sort of track record. So unfortunately, we didn't have that track record. So my size started downsizing because obviously I didn't have enough money to obviously pay people. And obviously they got greener pastures elsewhere. And at the point I was left alone. And I said to myself, okay, you know what? Uh, you tried this approach, it, it failed dismally. But however, you can still try another approach. So I said to myself, what are you good at? You're certainly good at talking. You're certainly good at convincing people. So look at one of the current business models that we have and see which one is easier for you to roll out. Obviously construction, I'd need heavy machinery. I'd need tons of expertise and all of that. You know, just to buy a tender document in this country is already too expensive. So I said to myself, okay, try and see what else is there within the group of companies. And then from that one company, you can then re-establish all the other companies. So I looked at the advertising and design expert of the side of the business. It looked much more easier for me to do. Yeah, you know, easy. I'd like to make a positive contribution to the lives of others. And that's what keeps me going. You know, when I wake up, uh, no matter how sad or whatever depression I'm faced with that day, I say to myself, well, you have not yet made an impact on the world. You have not even made a slightest of dent. So get up and go start making those dents in lives of others so that they too can realize that their lives matter, their lives are important, they are important to this world and we need them. Yeah, absolutely. Because we need every single one. We need every single person. Every single person. Every, and the thing is, every single person needs to realize the potential that lies within them. When you die, you need to have given your all. You should go penniless into your grave. Not in terms of wealth, but in terms of your knowledge, in terms of the ideas that you have given out, in terms of the potential that was within you. You needed to have given your all. You need to be a car that had ran out of gas. You know, some people, they're gonna die on full tanks. And unfortunately, you didn't come in this world to die on a full tank. You came in this world to die on an empty tank. Master your destiny on 99FM.